Hello guys, my name is Khan and in today's video we will discuss that how you can do grouping. So what does it mean by grouping? So grouping is more like that how you can combine data, especially how you can combine your categorical uh, uh, categories in your, in, in your categorical variable, how you can combine the categories. Uh, so for this video I will be using again my US census data. I will open it up, I will quickly go through what's data is so that it will be easier for you to understand what I am doing. So again, this data is only about USA. So I have some variable like state, each row is uh, representing each state. Uh, and then we have some short abbreviation of state. The, the data is divided into four regions, uh, south region of USA, west region, north east region and then north central. And then we, I have some demographic variable like population, death, marriage, divorce here. Then I have some date variable when the data is collected and the status that the state is poor or rich. So this is the data that I will be using, in, that I will be importing into Tableau for this video. So I'll close it down. So I will go to my main screen and then this is the shortcut for Tableau I will be using. As I said that, uh, as I said several times before that Tableau works in three steps. So first step is to that you import data into Tableau. Then second step is that you create your visualization and third you create, you share your visualization or dashboard with your audience. So as my data is in Excel, so I will say connect to a file which is in Excel format and then I will be selecting my data which is the same data that I have shown in Excel to open. So everything looks fine, data got imported uh, very nicely. So now I'm going to sheet one. So let's see if I'm creating a very simplistic bar graph and let's see if I have columns in my region and then I want to see how the population in each region of USA is based on my census. So I will add that. So here you can see uh, that we have North Central, Northeastern. I think they, in order to make my uh, labels more visible less swap the columns and the rows so now you can see that in my north central region northeast and south and west region these are the population among numbers we have but suppose if you want to combine north central and northeast together you can easily do it if you select northeast then control and then select north central too now if you come here there is a dialog box get open here there is an option if you can see that there is an attached kind of sign or the group members if i click it you can see that it's taking me it's combined both of the category north central and northeast so easily and now we have south and west but the important thing to note here is that once i have applied that grouping my row variable is got changed to region group and you can also see that here uh, there is another dimension got added which is saying region group so by combining they have added it keeps the original variable as it is but also have added a new variable you can say the other thing that I would like to uh, discuss is that you can do grouping by different ways. So, and I will give you another example. So, which will give you another example how you can group. So, suppose if I do again the same thing, if I add my rows as a region, then I add my, suppose this time, my divorce rate, divorce numbers in that region. So, these are the regions. So, but suppose now I want to combine south and the west so another option to do grouping is that you will do it again select your south region select your west region the the moment i select both of the regions if you look at the toolbar this this option will get active again if if you guys if i do it again currently you can see that this option is not active but now if i select south region but in order to group you need at least two categories even I have selected south this option is still not active because as I said we need at least two categories for creating creating a group so I will control I will select west and now you can see this option get active I will click it region so now you can see that it have created a new category for me south and west region 
So this is one of the uh, another way you can create a grouping uh, in your uh, data or in your visualization. So I will go to sheet three and I will show you another option with, through which you can do grouping too. So suppose instead of first creating a graph and then creating uh, a grouping, there are some other ways you can also create grouping. So suppose if I also have a state variable which is representing each state of USA. So suppose so approximately I have 50 states of USA in my data. Even if I can show it to my data source. So if you can see it here, I have about from Alabama, Alaska, all the 50 states. So if I go to sheet three, and instead of creating any graph first, so suppose if I go to my variable state, and if you look at this, there is a down arrow button. If I look at the down arrow button, there is an option create, and under the create, there is an option that I can create a group. So this is a very important, so I will say create a group. So now what I will do is, so suppose if I want to select this state, this option allows you a lot of freedom that you can say, this, this, Alaska, uh, Georgia, and maybe you can scroll down to some other states to Indiana. So suppose uh, these are the states which are uh, which in which the crime rate is very high. So I will say group, and it it's asking me what's the label you want to do give to these grouping. So I will say high crime rate and then uh, I said okay I'll come down so it's have created a group with the name that's high crime rate and under this group these all states are coming now I can further create more groups so suppose I said Alaska Florida and Dow, Hawaii, Illinois, and all these states. I will also want to group them. So I said these are the states which have a um, medium crime rate. Okay. So now if I look back, so these states got added into high crime rate, medium, and all other states. Uh, so suppose if I say select the first state and then all other states shift selected all other state and I said group um, and I name it as hello crime states you can even edit it afterwards so I'll say okay group. so all so now I have created three cat grouping within my state variable based on the crime rate, high crime rate, medium crime rate, and low crime rate state, and then I'll say apply. So once I said apply, you can see that it have created a new state group. You can also rename this new dimension which I've created. So I will say state by crime rate. So in this way, you can see that how easily we can manipulate or can add new categories into data. And I'll say, okay. So now you can see my name got updated. And now let's see if I add my column here. And I want to see the population within these, within these categories. So you can see, I switch my rows to column. So high crime rate, the population is low low crime rate states the population is high the medium uh, crime rate the population is also very low so so this is another way that you can create uh, your grouping or categorical variable based on your data uh, so suppose uh, i want to re-edit these categories i can easily do that so when you have created your categorical variable or the grouping variable you have to go to that variable again and have to click this down arrow button and once you go to down arrow button you can see an option edit group so if i select that so suppose you realize that you have added a wrong state in a wrong category so i will say like this i will select to so suppose hawaii is a high claim i accidentally added 
to a low crime state so i will select that and i will say add to not low crime state i will select it to high crime state so if i if i select that okay so now you can see that hawaii is appearing under high crime rate so in this way you can easily also edit the categories suppose if you have done something wrongly that you can edit it or suppose if your things got updated or in future you uh, your categories got updated you can easily update them uh, through edit group option in the other in the other thing is that suppose uh, here i have accident i uh, i am writing down high crime rates medium crime rates and i have written down low crime states so it's, i have to say rate here so in order to edit that thing i will double click it so i will click it and some rename it so you can see i can rename it to low crime rate so that my label names remain consistent i will say okay apply so you can even say that uh, that the changes also get applied to my labels here too so this is one of another way you can create uh, grouping in tableau and then in another way there is another very uh, good way through which you can uh, create grouping in tableau too uh, so what i will do here is that suppose if i have a population variable i also have suppose my divorce variable so both are numeric variable uh, but suppose i want to see the population and divorce in each state because this data is unique at each state so suppose if i add state to my color description let's say add all members so you can see that now it's showing me all the points for each state uh, so for each state is showing me the population and the divorce but suppose if i realize that these uh, six uh, dots which are kind of outliers I, based on that i want to create a category or a new grouping so what you can simply do you can simply select those data points based on which so suppose if you are not happy with this selection you can reselect it so i want to select these very data point and i want to consider uh, I, I want to label these data points as outliers and the other points will be remained as uh, consistent uh, points so i have selected those data points and again i can select these group members but you can easily see that how quickly you can create a grouping uh, in tableau and it allows you to uh, create new categories by the this option of grouping very easily so i'll say state and then as you can see that it have created a new category state one so what i will do i will edit this grouping i will name it as outlier states and then you can see these are the states which are which are the states which are I have selected and these are the states which are not selected so i will change these selected states so you can see that florida hawaii these are all the states which are come under my uh, outliers in terms of population and divorce so what i will do i will select it i will say rename i will rename it to outliers and then I will also rename this to not outliers. Sorry if you are um, doing misspellings. Okay. And now, so you can see that based on this graph, so you create a category, even suppose if you don't need this graph, but uh, based on this graph, I have able to create a category, uh, which is this, uh, which I'm not wrong, which is, which is the outlier status uh, states and then what i can do so based on this graph i am able to create a new grouping and even suppose if you don't need you can discard it but i can create a new graph based on the variable that i have created which is the outlier state so i will bring it to my rows 
and then I will say suppose if I want to see uh, marriages in my based on these categories so you can say under my outliers the divorce rate is very low whereas the uh, not outlier state the divorce rate is very high so so these are the ways that to, you can create grouping and the good thing about grouping is that after creating a grouping you can even use your group variable that you have created to create new hierarchies so suppose i have created this outlier status and I, if i drag it to my region based on that you can say you can do you want to create a hierarchy based on this name okay so now based on your new grouping you can further use those groupings to create your new hierarchies too which can allow you to make further more uh, complex graph so thank you for watching the video